video is specially for you. Here I am going to share some tips and what strategy I followed during my Niper JW preparation and how it makes me successful. I also have collected some information and tips from my friend regarding how to prepare for Niper JW exam and here I am going to summarize all these tips and information so watch this video till the end. The question comes in mind is why Niper Institute is important, why we, we have to get or we have to take admission there what benefit we will get there if you want to go for jobs then you will get placement in best companies with good package if you want to go for higher studies like phd then here faculty member will motivate you they will guide you properly to go for phd in foreign or in India also but before that you have to get a good rank in Niper JW exam so you can get admission in Niper college there are seven Niper colleges all over India they are listed here Niper SAS Nagar most popularly known as Niper Mohali then Niper Hyderabad, Niper Ahmedabad, Niper Guwahati, Niper Raiburili, Niper Hajipur and Niper Kolkata. This all Niper colleges provides the postgraduate courses in MS Pharm, Masters of Pharmaceutical Sciences, M Pharm, M Tech, Medical Devices and MBA pharmaceutical management for pharma graduate students Niper JW exam is a good opportunity to get the admission in MBA because this exam is based on BPharm syllabus but other national entrance test for MBA is not based on pharma syllabus or BPharm syllabus so it is difficult but a Niper JW exam is easy for pharma graduate student to get the admission in MBA course also. So coming to the Niper JW exam pattern, it has total 200 multiple choice question and time limit is 2 hour. Last year Niper Hyderabad conducted the exam and total marks was 100 means 0.5 marks for every MCQ or every question, each question. Before that, total mark was 200 and each question has one mark. It doesn't matter whether total mark is 100 or 200 because negative marking is same. It is one fourth for every Niper JW exam paper so it doesn't matter whether exam is for 100 mark or 200 mark if we say one fourth negative marking means if each question is for 0.5 mark then 0.125 mark will be deducted from total score for every wrong answer if it, each question is for one mark then 0.25 mark will be deducted from total score for every wrong question Niper JW exam is computer based test similar to GPAT but here rank is very important your rank will decide which college you will get because admission is based on rank only the speed matters a lot because we have to solve 200 questions within a 2 hour only you only get 33 seconds for each questions 
so it is difficult to visit all 200 question within a 2 hour but it is not impossible if you practice more previous year question paper you solve more mock test then it is easy to cover whole 200 mcq within a 2 hour so practice more previous year question solve more mock test then you will get idea how to manage time during examination then coming to the syllabus syllabus of NIPER JWA exam is similar to GPAT but in NIPER JWA exam it has some extra syllabus which is listed on right hand side this number indicate the number of questions from per that particular subject but NIPER didn't set any limit for number of questions from this subject number of question from another subject like this but this number of questions or number I have wrote in bracket in front of subjects they are it is coming from after analysis of some previous year question papers only this number may be decrease or increase in upcoming NIPER exam but the difference will be less from this, lim uh, this uh, number of questions I have wrote in bracket so from pharmacology they can ask around 35 to 40 questions from organic chemistry 25 to 30 from pharmaceutical analysis 15 to 20 biochemistry 12 to 18 and so on in NIPER JWA examination you will see more questions on chemistry part mostly organic chemistry medicinal chemistry biochemistry and pharmaceutical analysis you will also see questions from phytochemistry part so study or focus on chemistry part also as well as pharmacology pharmaceutics this question also there then general aptitude reasoning pharma related current affairs and important softwares means those softwares used in research area they can ask a question on that then recently approved recently US FDA approved drug then English English sentence completion they can ask 20 to 25 questions last year NIPER Hyderabad conducted exam they asked less number of questions from this non pharma part and they didn't ask question on US FDA approved drug but uh, before that they have asked more question on this non pharma part and uh, they also have asked the question on US FDA approved drug so this year also NIPER Hyderabad is going to conduct exam so chances will be they will ask less question on non pharma part like uh, previous year but uh, you have to study this part also because about 20 to 25 question may be in exam here I have listed some golden tips for NIPER JWA exam preparation first you should go through the previous year NIPER JWA question papers I will share the link for previous year question paper in description if you see the previous year question paper then you will get idea what type of question they can ask so it is easy to study then they will ask some aptitude questions you can refer Najma Inamdar book for aptitude questions or previous year question also but in in this book some answers is given wrong so check whether your answer is correct or not then some general knowledge or pharma related current affairs question will be in exam like recently FDA approved drug 
ban drugs and new vaccines which are coming in market or already in market but last year naipur hyderabad didn't ask any question from recently approved fda drug so this year they can ask or not uh, we can say we can't say but uh, you should study some uh, recently approved fda drug also because they have asked in previous year then out of 200 questions 20 to 25 questions may be from aptitude and general knowledge but last year as naipur hyderabad conducted exam and they asked this question from aptitude and general knowledge those student preparing well for naipur they can score 50 percent or they can score 50 percent marks and above 50 percent how many mark uh, each student can uh, score above the 50 percent it will uh, determine your rank because question paper will be easy as compared to jpat and questions will be one liner so it is easy to solve 50 percent questions correctly but above that how you solve and uh, how much you correctly solve it will define your rank the admission is totally based on your rank only so if you get a good rank then you will get a good college and good uh, uh, good course or good field branch what you want the mock test is playing very important role because you will get idea how to manage time or how to solve 200 questions in two hour only this only possible after solving many mock tests so solve many mock tests practice questions see previous year questions i will make video on various important topics from each subject so stay tuned with pharma competitor thank you